This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Quite a few motherboard manufacturers have already published BIOS updates to enable Intel 13th generation processor support on the currently available Z690, H670 and B660 motherboards. Yes, if you own a 600 series motherboard and a 12th gen CPU, then you will be able to easily upgrade to the 13th gen. This BIOS update made it easy to test the latest engineering samples of yet-to-be-released Intel 13th Gen processors, which are already being sold on the black market in China. A China-based content creator who goes by the name of Extreme Player has managed to acquire an i9-13900K and benchmarked it versus i9-12900K. In this video, we will take a look at just how much more powerful the 13900K is compared to its predecessor. Additionally, I will tell you everything we know so far about the i9-13900K, including its specs, performance, release date and price. Will it be an easy pick to build your new PC this year? I am not quite sure about that yet. But what I am sure about is that you should check out our sponsor Squarespace. With Squarespace you can easily build your website without having any web development knowledge. I built my first ever website using one of their fully customizable templates to make it look personal and can confirm that the whole experience was a breeze. Currently I use this website as a portfolio, but there is room to grow with features like online stores to sell physical or digital products, as well as powerful analytics that help you understand where the visits and sales are coming from to improve the website and build a better marketing strategy. Try it for free at squarespace.com and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first website or domain. The links are in the description below. Now back to the video. Before we get to the benchmarks, let's compare 12th gen and 13th gen specifications. 12900K has 8 performance B cores and 8 efficiency E cores for a total of 16 cores and 24 threads. 13900 as well as 13900K both have 8 P cores and 16 E cores for a total of 24 cores and 32 threads. That is a nice increase in efficiency core count, which will contribute to a better multi-threading performance. Another difference that is worth pointing out is cache improvement. 12900K has 30 MB of L2 cache, while 13900 comes with 36 MB. FYI, larger cache usually translates into better performance in games. The 13th generation will also benefit from a faster DDR5-5600 memory controller, compared to DDR5-4800 in the 12th gen. Both generations are manufactured on the same Intel 7 node, which used to be called Intel 10 nanometer before the rebranding. According to the latest leaks, the release date has been pushed back from Q3 to Q4 2022, which means that Intel 13th gen processors will launch around the same time as AMD's Ryzen 7000 series or maybe even after it. As always, the top tier i9-13900K, i7-13700K and i5-13600K CPUs will launch first. If you want one of the non-K parts, then you will have to wait at least until Q1 2023. As for the price, I do not expect Intel to change it much compared to the current generation, maybe just by a few percent. So, expect i9-13900K to cost below $600. Now let's talk about the benchmarks. 13900K is 14% better than 12900K in Cinebench single core test and 39% better in multi-core. It is 10% faster in Geekbench single core and 23% faster in the multi-core test. Content creators will be happy to hear that in Adobe Premiere Pro, 13900K is leading by 21%, while in Photoshop we get a 13% improvement. Blender is well optimized to take advantage of CPUs with many cores, and it shows as 13900K with its 8 extra E cores is 41% faster in the Monster benchmark, 42% faster in Junk Shop, and 34% in Classroom. 7-zip compression gets a decent 13% bump, 
but decompression is super speedy with a 52% increase over the 12900K. Unfortunately, we don't have any gaming data just yet, but 13900K is 18% better in 3D Mark Time Spy, which I feel will be a representation of the best case scenario for gaming performance improvement over the current generation 12900K. I think it is reasonable to expect 10 to 15% improvements in gaming. 3D Mark CPU profile is the last benchmark on the menu today. 13900K pulls ahead by a massive 40% again. In case you are wondering how Intel 13th Gen will stack up against AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7000 series, from all the leaks I have seen so far, I feel like they will be quite evenly matched in terms of performance. I think they will be trading blows. However, AMD could end up having a better power efficiency. Also, Ryzen 7000 does have one big advantage. It will launch on the new AM5 platform that will be supported for at least two or three next generations. Whereas Intel 13th Gen will be the last product line on the LGA1700 platform, meaning that there is no easy CPU upgrade path for it. If this video was helpful, then give it a like and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.